Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another Hermes unboxing. This was kind of a fun little um, surprise type of additional thing that I decided to add to the collection. Um, basically, recently I had a friend visit and um, I, I don't want to max out my own profile so I decided to use her po profile to purchase this bag because apparently there's a limit on the amount of leather goods you can buy um, each season for uh, Hermes um, and if you buy too many leather goods you kind of won't be um, eligible to get one of the quota bags and I am still trying to get that quota bag. I mean, I feel like everybody is. I mean, I'm not too like obsessed with it or whatever, like emotionally invested, but uh, when I saw this bag, I really wanted this as well and I didn't want to ruin my profile. I have a really good essay. She's like pretty honest and upfront about everything with me. So she was just like, if you use your own profile, like don't ruin it because right now things are looking good and um if if i wanted to get this bag as well that would kind of um decrease my chances of getting a quote bag i don't know she was very honest with me very upfront so i really appreciate that from her uh, but at the same time i still wanted this damn bag and then from a stroke of genius um knowing that i had a friend visiting um in town for a couple of days i decided why not use her profile i mean my friend she's not um really that into hermes she loves hermes and everything but she's not um on on the journey as people call it which i think is kind of dumb to call it a journey it's just it is what it is if there's availability you get a bag if there isn't you don't um but yeah that's like the common reference so i'll just call it that um but she's not really on that journey she just buys what she likes and um so she didn't care she didn't care that i would use her quota to buy this bag so without further ado let's get into the unboxing i also got a trolley i hope this is the right one because um I didn't think I was gonna film this unboxing and then I just shoved the Twilly box in my box of Twillies and I was like oh wait I should probably show the Twilly that I got as well so I'm hoping this is the correct one if not I'll go look for look for it after the fact um, so yeah so I may have mixed it with some other Twilly so I'm hoping this is the right one but I, I feel like it is so I'm gonna set this aside I'll show you the Twilly at the end but let's just get into the meat and bones of this video which is the actual uh, unboxing of the bag so yes it comes in this humongous Hermes orange box beautifully ribboned and tied and I'll just open it up it's a very large ribbon and move the ribbon out of the way and let's just open it up So as per usual, it comes with the classic tissue paper and a little pillow and the bag is right here. And here it is, here's the bag. So I decided to pick up this bag. This is called the 2424 bag. And it is one of the newer bags from Hermes. I believe it came out in 2018. It looks like this. It's kind of like a business casual type of bag um it's very very similar to how the kelly looks like with the twisting flap but it's more of a modern silhouette it's very slouchy and beautiful the leather feels amazing and it is in the gold color and the gold hardware so this is how it looks like i'm just going to take off all this stuff it comes with a very easy to use closure where you just clasp it together and then you twist and it stays closed and this is the gold on gold so it's gold hardware and the color you see here this beautiful brown color is gold and this is in the largest size and that does come with two kind of like um u-shaped metal pieces from the leather and you can attach a crossbody strap to it i personally don't really like this bag as a crossbody moment they do have even minier sizes um because just as, as the shape of it it's a very like round and lumpy kind of moment and i feel like against the body you have to be a, definitely a certain body type to be able to pull that off for me i'm a little bit shorter and i'm also like not stick thin and i don't think the vibe of having a cross body bag that is a little bit rounder sticking out from the side of my body is the silhouette for me whereas this kind of like top handle lazy slouchy moment carrying it um lower um towards my feet or like on the crook of my arm um in the indent is definitely the vibe for me um so that's just personal preference but all in all it's not as big as you may think it is 
it, it, it's the largest size and I know um, some people kind of think that this may look a little bit luggagey but in my opinion it doesn't it just looks like a very chic elegant bag at the bottom doesn't have any um, little feet or anything on it so you do have to be quite careful with it of where you want to place it so I would definitely recommend um, incorporating some sort of bag hook in the bag so you can just hang it on the table anyways let me open up the bag so you guys can see what's inside so obviously they have the regular stuffing that they have in most of the other Hermes bag back zipper over here I don't know if you guys can tell very easy to open and it is pretty much the length of the whole bag that's how deep it is I don't know if you guys can tell really really great you can just put all your wallets and everything in there and then just the size of this is just really really great you can put a full-size iPad Pro in there you can put a laptop if you have um, 13 inches or smaller you can definitely put the your laptop in there as well um, I'm definitely going to be purchasing a bag insert for this because it is such a slouchy bag and I want it to kind of keep some sort of shape and some sort of form some people really hate slouchy bags and definitely if you are not a fan of the slouch this is not the bag for you but if you do like a little bit of that lazy kind of feel um, then definitely this is something that is right up your alley I do like that this piece is quite structured because it gives it um, a very corporate classy look I also love that we have the white stitching at the top I feel like that's a lot more youthful and it, it's it's like a really nice contrast it looks super modern I love this bag so much this is how the original bag um, looked like it didn't come in the crossbody when it first hit the runway it was just a handheld bag um, so this is this is how they envisioned it at first, which I love. Um, I also really like this bag because it's kind of unisex. So you can actually, um, obviously, if you have a partner, you can share this with your partner. Definitely, it's going to be a very practical bag for me. I feel like this is a really nice corporate work bag. Um, it'll definitely work um, for your lifestyle if you're someone who drives a car, who likes to lug around a lot of things off this item. So you can put your like pencil case, you can put your laptop, you can put your charger chargers your portable chargers all that kind of stuff in here this is like very practical and I love the practicality of the closure it's not as messy and complicated as the Kelly with the straps it's not like a her bag it's not like um, the Birkin as well with with the with the two straps it's just very easy access and it kind of opens up it kind of reminds me also a little bit of um, a doctor's bag where there's some structure at the top but when you open it's it's quite deep and and wide because of that bottom rectangular piece down here so it's got that kind of element to it as well so it's just like a nice big hole easy simple to use definitely a collector's piece and at this point the price of the bag is not bad it is pretty much basically the same price as a Chanel jumbo classic flop and to be honest if you're not really looking to buy vintage Chanel or whatever it just makes more sense um, in my opinion to get this and especially if you're looking for something classic and for work um, but that's just my opinion honestly like to each their own some people hate this bag some people love it uh, I personally love it it's so cool it's so chic it's so elegant the quality is definitely there and I'm just obsessed with the color I'm such a gold jewelry person I love gold hardware so this is definitely what sealed the deal if this was palladium or like another color like i don't think i would have gone with it and i also love this milky milk tea kind of brown color and obviously it's the same color all around but obviously depending on the type of leather the variation in color is definitely there so this looks a little bit lighter than this if you can tell i don't know if you guys can tell but yeah very nice very nice bag so that's what I got recently using my friends quota uh, I also bought a twilly with it I'm hoping as I said in the beginning of this video that this is the color that um, is the correct one if not I'll go to my cabinet and try to find it but let's have a look at the color I picked out and yes this is the color that I picked out so this is the twilly that I decided to get it has beautiful oranges greens and browns and I decided to go with this because it gives it a little bit more of a youthful sort of pop of color and I also love this because of um, the fact that it's orange and it's very like Hermes and like old school but at the same time the greens really makes it a lot more fun so I'm definitely gonna put this on and I definitely want to protect the handle because this one is a top handle bag so I will be using the top handle quite a bit 
to carry this bag. And also it was so funny because um, when my SA took this out, um, there were two other other girls at the at the Hermes store at the time and they were so obsessed with this bag and um, also with my friend's bag that she got. She got um, an all black her bag and it was just funny to, to, to see the reaction of others to this bag which really kind of solidified my interest in getting the bag as well. Not that I really care about other people's opinion but it's always nice to, to see that the thing that you're buying um, is validated and other people will think it's like a cute bag as well. And also I have a feeling that a lot of people are not really that uh, that much of a Hermes nerd. So I feel like those two girls didn't even know this bag existed, if you know what I mean. So it was kind of like an eye opener, I guess, to them as well. I think a lot of people think um, when it comes to Hermes, it's just the Birkin, the Kelly, Constance, like those popular bags. But Hermes definitely has a wider selection nowadays um, when it comes to bags and I feel like a good um, alternative to those uh, Birkins, Kelly's or um, even the Constance is, is some of these types of bags that are easier to come by so um, such as this one which is the 2424 or the her bag which is the the bag that my friend got so yeah there she is in all her glory so pretty with her little orange twilly i absolutely love this bag so much let me know guys in the comments below if you like this bag as well if you were offered this bag would you get it and also uh what size do you guys like this one is the 35 they come in smaller sizes with the crossbody would you guys get the ones with the crossbodies let me know i'm really curious so yeah so that's that that's my unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed this video more unboxings to come if you do enjoy luxury content luxury unboxings luxury hauls please subscribe to my channel Click the red button below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.